Morning. Welcome to Katernix Corner. My name's Terry, and I was cleaning the quail room yesterday, and I came across a bunch of uh, leftover wire that I had from building my cages, and I thought I would take that wire and build one of these carrying cages, show you guys how I do it. Um, the cage measures 24 inches by 24 inches, and it's 8 inches tall. Uh, it's got a door on the top that latches with a just a little short bungee cord and uh, gives you easy access to the birds. What I use these uh, carrying cages for, um, or temporary holding pens, whatever you want to call them, um, like if I'm butchering birds or something, I can take up to 20 birds or so and throw them in this pen, take them out back and butcher them up. Or if I'm cleaning cages and need a place to throw the birds, these cages come in handy. Um, this cage measures 24 inches by 24 inches and eight inches tall. Um, and it's just a, a single tier cage. What I think I'm going to do on the next one, um, I'm going to build the same cage, but I'm going to put a divider down the middle. And that way, if I'm sexing birds, I have one side I can put males, one side I can put females. <clears throat> okay, so first let's go over some of the materials and uh, tools that you're going to need. Um, I'm going to wire these cages together using J-clips. Um, they're commonly used in building rabbit cages. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. You can get them online, I think, for a couple bucks for a bag about this side. It's a one-pound bag. Um, also, a pair of uh, uh, J-clip pliers, and you can get them online also. I think I paid like $10 for this or maybe even less than that. Uh, then a couple, uh, I got my heavy-duty uh, cutters and side cutters for getting into uh, a little bit tighter spots. Also, a tape measure. You may need that and some bungee cords you don't need a bunch of them you just you get by with one um you actually don't even really need this but i like to use that it holds the doors pretty securely closed okay so for the wire um what what i'm going to use is i've got a bunch of leftover uh one inch by two inch wire and i, I believe this is i'm not 100 percent sure i think it's like 14 gauge wire um this is commonly used in building rabbit cages and whatnot. So I've got uh, four pieces of that that measure. They are 24 inches long and eight inches tall. So those, those will be all my sides. And then I've got another piece measures the same thing. And that's going to be the divider that will go in between and then I've got another little shorter piece over here. Um, I think this one measures 20 inches by 8 inches. Uh, and that's going to be for the door. So we'll put that aside. We don't need that right yet. And then also I have the tops and bottoms, which measure 24 by 24. And it's made out of uh, 1 inch by half inch, um, 16 gauge, um, I don't know, welded wire. I don't think they call this hardware cloth, uh, welded wire. So, and this is the standard stuff that they use in the bottom of uh, rabbit cages. So we won't need this right yet, I'll set that aside. And this whole process is pretty simple. Um, I've got some J clips already open. Um, basically what you do is you just take your your sides and we'll, we'll get them temporarily temporarily clipped together and you just take a J clip and stick it in your pliers and then just stand your wire up put the J clip around it I don't know if you can see that and then just crimp it and just put a couple on there just to hold it in place while you're getting the basic assembly together. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these sides put together. And uh, then we'll come back and I'll show you how we install the uh, centerpiece and the uh, flooring and the top. Okay, now I don't know if your uh, big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's carry this heavy of a wire. Um, 
I know I usually get uh, half inch hardware cloth up there, but uh, most of the feed stores will carry this type of stuff. If not, they can order it in, or you can go online to Amazon. Um, a lot of times I'll buy a 50 to 100 foot roll on Amazon, but I have seen uh, quantities as small as five foot length. So um, if you don't have any leftover wire from your cage building projects, uh, go on Amazon. You should be able to find what you need to build this project, and it should be relatively inexpensive. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the sides of the cage temporarily um, tacked together. What I'm going to do now is uh, I've got one more piece that measures 24 by 8 inches. I'm going to go ahead and install that down the center. That'll be my divider. And uh, we'll just, like I say, get everything temporarily tacked in place with your, uh, your J-clips. Now I've, I've got 24 inches across, so I should be able to count in 12, and that'll be my center mark. Okay, there's 12 on the center, so I'm going to put one right there. Okay, so I've got my divider temporarily clamped in at... Uh, 12 inches. Um, that's going to give me um, one, two square foot per side of the cage. Um, and that should easily hold, you know, 15 birds or so on each side uh, without being too overcrowded. So what I like to do is just get everything tacked together, or not tacked together, but clamped together just to hold it in place. And once I've got the cage pretty much assembled, I'll go back and I'll reclamp everything and tighten it up okay and for the bottom I'm using a piece of half inch by one inch welded wire I believe it's 16 gauge and it measures 24 by 24 inches uh, you're gonna do the same basic thing uh, position this on the bottom of your cage and uh, using J clips clamp it together just like you did the sides This stuff is pretty uh, readily available also. I think you can find it at most feed stores. They use this for building uh, the floors of uh, rabbit cages. So you shouldn't have a problem with that. If not, it is available on, uh, on Amazon. So like I say, most of these materials you're gonna need for this cage. If you don't already have them laying around, you can order them off of Amazon. Um, and get them delivered one day right to your house. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, clamping this bottom on, and then we'll come back and uh, show you how you put the top on and cut the door out. Okay, so I got the bottom temporarily attached with the uh, J-clips. Um, I just got a few on each side. I'll go around and I'll lock everything down tight once the uh, entire cage is uh, complete. Uh, but now we can go ahead and set our top on. Our top measures um, the same size as the bottom, and it's made out of the same material, the half inch uh, by one inch um, welded wire. And we'll go ahead and fasten it down the exact same way we did the bottom. Um, I did not cut the uh, opening for the door yet. And another thing you don't want to do yet is attach the top to the uh, center divider of the cage uh, until you, after you've got the door cut out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get this clamped down and uh, we'll come back as soon as I'm ready to cut the opening for the door and uh, install the door. This is probably one of the uh, simplest cages you can build. Um, using J-clips and uh, this type of wire uh, makes it really convenient. Um, it's fast, it's inexpensive, and uh, very easy to keep clean and also having these uh these little carrying cages like this like i said earlier it, it just makes it so much nicer um if you've got to take the birds out of the cage to like wheel the cages outside and get them pressure washed uh, you got a place to temporarily put them while you're taking care of that or if you're going to butcher up a bunch of birds you can uh 
throw them in the uh, holding cage and uh, take them to your butchering station and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so now that I've got the uh, top temporarily fastened in place, we can go ahead and cut the opening for our door. The door is made of the same material as the sides and it is the, uh, the one inch by two inch welded wire. Uh, this piece measures eight inches uh, deep and uh, 20 inches wide. Uh, basically what you want to do is just center the door on the cage and you can mount it anyway. You can open it in the front, you can have it towards the back. Um, I like it in the center, that way if I have to reach down in, I don't have to reach up under there and potentially uh, get scratched or cut by this wire. So I kind of center it, you know, the best I can in the middle of the cage. Uh, the hinge side of the door, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it with a sharpie. On the hinge side of the door, you're going to mark it right where you're going to cut. But on the, uh, on the two sides of the door and the front of the door where it lays down against the cage, you want to leave one inch on both sides, or actually on all sides, so when that door closes, it's got something to lay up against, and it's not going to try to flop inside the cage. I'll show you what I mean when, I'm, uh, when I've got this cut. Okay, what I use to uh, cut the uh, door out is just your standard side cutters. Um, they seem to be able to get into the uh, small openings of the half inch wire. So let me go ahead and set that aside and I'll get this cut out. There's one. Okay, I have our opening for our door cut out and we can go ahead and attach our door. Um, on the hinge side of the door, it will just line up right with the edge of the cut mark. And you can see on the outside here where I left that, uh, that one inch overlap, that's so that door can close up against it and it can't go inside. It'll give it something tight to uh, pull up against. But before I attach the door, the first thing I want to do is take my uh, grinder and just clean up some of these edges a little bit because they are kind of sharp and I don't want to be cut or scratched when I'm reaching into the cage. I know they do make a, like a hard plastic uh, uh, piece that you can slide up over it. I don't know what it's called. Um, trim piece or, or something. But uh, we'll just go ahead and clean it up good with the grinder and uh, that should work pretty good. Okay, so now that we've got the door opening cleaned up, we can go ahead and remember when we left the uh, top unattached from the uh, center divider, you can go ahead and uh, lock that down now with some uh, J-clips. Sometimes getting this through that half inch wire is a little bit tight. You have to stick it down in there and then give it a little twist and then clamp it. Basically, it just bends the wire out of the way. But uh, if you want it to look pretty, you can just use a pair of pliers and close it back up again. Um, okay, so that's good for there. Uh, we can go ahead and clamp our door on. Just double check your door. Make sure that you've got uh, your one inch lap on each side and on the front end before locking it in place. And what our hinges are just going to be the J clips. Okay, so once you have your uh, hinge side uh, J clamp down to the uh, cage, you should have a working door. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is uh, put our latching device on there, and that is a simple bungee cord. Okay, so what you're going to do is clamp your bungee cord end to the uh, hinge side of the door and the cage, and uh, the other end will just go across the door and uh, hook right onto the uh, front side of the cage, and that'll hold your door shut, and the birds aren't going to be able to 
pop out of that. Okay, so all I have left to do is uh, go around and just tighten up any loose spots uh, with some more of the J-clamps and uh, our cage will be complete. Okay, so I've gone around the entire cage and permanently attached the uh, top and bottom to the sides using the J-clips and that snugged it up pretty good. Uh, the door and the latch are working great. Uh, so I think that pretty much wraps up this project. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please post them down below. I try to come in every day and answer uh, any questions that may be in there. Um, I hope you found this project useful. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Uh, it helps me out and uh, you'll get notifications on any up and coming videos. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.